What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cosette Mill. <sighs> you can call me Cozy. Um, what's up? This is going to be a little get ready with me. Um, I just woke up. My sleep schedule is so messed up, guys. So go shop to millbeauty.com so I can start sleeping and retiring. <laughs> I want to be retired at 25. What are you doing? Um, the Go Shop to Mo Beauty. This is the Truffle Butter Body Oil infused with real truffle butter. Cannabis terpenes. Yeah. I'll say it quietly for the algorithm. Cannabis terpenes. Okay, there you go. Made with real terpenes. So it's really, really cool. Um, the Blue Dream Candle made with real Blue Dream. So go check all of it out. Up on the website now. Yeah. Isn't this one cool? This one's so cool. I always show you guys this one. Oh my goodness gracious. This one is for sale too. Um, uh, this one's um, available for bidding. Um, yeah, I should have a potion auction. Like going once, going twice for 4,000 Bitcoin. <laughs> Wait, that's not $4,000. That's actually like, multiply that by like 21,000. What's 4,000? Oh no, that's not, <laughs> this is not math class. All right, how are you guys doing? Um, how are you guys feeling this week? Comment below your favorite altcoin of the week. I am drinking a little bit of coffee, don't tell anyone. Um, I'm not supposed to be that coffee. <laughs> Did you ever watch that? Um, was this a Waverly Place episode where there's like a pocket elf and he's like, I'm not supposed to have chocolate. But then they give him chocolate and a little elf goes crazy. No, just me. <laughs> well, okay, um, this needs sugar. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, I need to clean my dirty mirror. This is just gonna be a little get ready with me. Like, I think I'm going out tonight. Um, a lot of good energy. Like there's bright energy in here again. Um, there's rainbows on my wall because I have these little rainbow stickers on my, um, on my little like, um, what's it called? Like the sliding door. I ordered them off Etsy or whatever. They're called rainbow makers. Um, so I bought some rainbow makers. Um, and now there's rainbows everywhere and I love it and I would show you guys but it's the, like This is the only thing in the room that looks good right now <laughs> um, I made all that art. So let me know if you want to purchase any art or any of the potions um, I'm an artist first and foremost. That's the gig and an author. So go buy my books All of them all of them all of them I realized like in order for you guys to know that I have books and stuff I have to like sell them to you guys. All right, let's flip to a page and read it. Okay. The eighth dimension consists of pure light and existence. I only have knowledge of these eight dimensions so far, but I believe there are infinite dimensions and we exist in all. They attempt to lower our vibration by keeping us stuck in lower dimensions. When we're doing algebra problems, we're only using the left logical part of our brain. By exercising your left brain more than your right, it will eventually create an imbalance. Ever wonder why they make math so much more important than art in school? Most math, like algebra, keeps our brain functioning in 3D alone and makes us neglect our creative right brain. By functioning too much in the left brain, it keeps us from entering other dimensions. Because at the mail, I'm threatened by, I'm so, so snarky. They told me be humble. Okay, this is my book, so I'm just reading a few things that I wrote. However, there are other forms of math that are used in quantum physics that allow us to access higher dimensions. Our intuition is the best way to access these dimensions. Our right brain must be completely aligned with our left. Creative expression, such as art, would actually balance the left and right parts of our brain, making us more intuitive and aligned in every way. Remember to exercise your creative brain as well as your logical one. I wrote that when I was 17. Stay woke. Talking about quantum physics, like, who does she think she is? We're responsible for what's taking place here on Earth. We're evolving as a species. Everything going on in the world is simply a part of, of the bigger plan of human evolution. We will always be evolving. Every step is on the path. The people in our lives are helping us evolve as a spirit. We are evolving as one. It is all divine. So don't worry. <laughs> Just go buy my book. It's very simplistic. It's, it's, it's cool, though. So that was a little preview. If you guys liked it, it's linked down below for purchase available on Barnes and Noble and Amazon.com. I wrote this when I was 17, published when I was. First book was published when I was 16, second book was published when I was 17, and this book was published when I was 20. Yeah, right before my 21st birthday. Yeah. This was 17. I was 17 here. So I had two published books before 18. That's pretty, pretty badass. Pretty badass. If I do say so myself. Gotta suck my own dick cool as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why I'm such a lady, why did I say that? Anyway, so we're gonna read and just say that. Um I'm a girl, I swear. Just an androgynous being who's balanced with their masculinity. I'll tell you where to go, where to shove it. Shove it up your ass, no. <laughs> we all need to know. 
this is why I can't drink coffee. <laughs> this is why they tell me not to drink coffee. Oh, and it'll yellow your fucking teeth, which I'm already trying to get whitened. Um, Demil Beauty will be coming out with like a whitening serum, a whitening toothpaste soon. Um, Demil Beauty Daily. It's gonna be like Demil Beauty every day, Demil Daily. So we'll have our face creams, our face washes, like eye creams and all that. So I haven't come out with that yet. I've only come out with like lip glosses, body oils, candles and stuff like that. So you can go shop the lip glosses up on demobi.com right now. The lip glosses are super duper cute. Like, let me show you. Like, super duper cute. And some are infused with real crystals. The angelic amethyst I'm infusing with real crystals. So if you're interested in this, if you think it's really cute, go check out the links down below. Um, this one might be cotton candy flavored. But yeah, um, all made to order, like all very one of a kind. Um, yes, it's just the beginning, guys. So yeah, if you're <coughs> interested in lip gloss, go check those out. I believe they're 11.11 right now. Angel numbers, baby. I'm not trying to do that 14.99 thing. We're doing like 14.44. We're trying to do the angel number thing, but I realize like the 99 cent thing is also like good marketing or whatever. I was pimping, poking my pimple yesterday. Like, I don't get pimples anymore because I'm, like, mentally 40. And I just, like, stay home and shit. So I don't really get acne anymore. Like, and I don't wear, like, makeup much. Face makeup. Um. Doo -doo -doo. So I don't really, ooh, I don't really get, like, acne anymore. Because I keep, like, really good skin, like, skincare. I'm, like, more skincare over makeup. Like, I'll put... I try not to put um, like too much face makeup on. Like especially if I do have a pimple, like I try not to clog that pore with just a bunch of concealer. You wanna like, cause that's what people do if you're going out, like you cover with concealer, right? Um, but what it, what I like to do, like if you're in that pinch, like you have a meeting or you're meeting up with somebody and you have like acne in your face or like a little pimple popped up, I like to put a bunch of skincare on top of it first and then put the concealer. So you're not just clogging your pores like really good oh i live in a city oh why am i not on a farm what am i doing i don't know i don't have a daisy patch like right outside why 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 i need a daisy patch that'd be a cute name for like a skin thing daisy patch let me put on my daisy patches like those like blemish things that'd be cute all right, well, I just put on a bunch of um, vitamin C serum, so that's gonna brighten my skin. I'm going in with Little Demil Beauty. This is our Barbie Girl lip gloss. Did that lip gloss already fall? Did that one fall? Fall? English? Yes. No. Anyway, so go shop the Granddaddy Perp Candles, link down below. This is the Granddaddy Perp Candle, link on demilbeauty.com. Here is our cereal milk made with real cereal milk link down below on demobie.com made with real terpenes there's no mica in this one it is 100% um, wax and terpenes cannabis terpenes alright and I have some more little potions for you guys link down below so if you're interested in any of these make sure to go shop demobie.com down below. That's demilbeauty.com. That's demilbeauty.com. Demilbeauty.com. Link down below. Some Bubba Kush candles, Bubba Kush body oil, Bubba Kush body scrub. You know the drill. So, yeah. Being an influencer is crazy because it just means like being very narcissistic. Like taking selfies every day, like posting a picture of myself every day. See, even my, even, even my bedroom is like, what the fuck? No, the wind is knocking shit down, bro. Why you do that? Why you gotta do that? Huh? What the fuck you knocked down? That looked important. Oh, it was important. Damn, they knocked it down. It's windy in here. I'm burning some incense, and I got the whole door open, because I'm trying to, like, <laughs> my tongue, my feet. I can't with myself. I'm just funny. I'm just stupid and wacky. Why you take this shit serious? Why you why you take this so seriously, huh? Just me. Bippin' and bopping and zooing it. Zipping and zooing it. <laughs> As Rich Lux would say, he zipping and zooing in the club. He zipping and zooing it. <laughs> I wonder how much. <laughs> <clears throat> 
compose yourself, cozy. That's what I'm hearing, like my angels say, compose yourself. Composure. Composure. <laughs> Did someone give her coffee? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Hello. Is this thing all? <laughs> I'm funny. I swear to God, I'm like a kid on sugar right now. I feel like I have a sugar high. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, life isn't supposed to be silly. Fuck. Life is supposed to be so silly. Like, so fucking silly. If it's not silly, then it's serious. Okay? And that's not fucking fun. <laughs> is it now, Becky? Is it? Huh? Is it? What is it? Is it? That's a tampon. Yeah. Is it? Going through my makeup bag, what do you want from me? <laughs> okay, what was I going to do next? I was going to do eyeshadow. Eyeshadow calling upon the eyeshadow gods. No, let's not summon any weird shit, y'all. Thank you all. Thank you, I'm done late. <laughs> 11, 11. <laughs> Angel number confirmed. Life is about to change, like, so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo, don't give me coffee. <laughs> I put, like, almond, like, it's not creamer. I ran out of creamer, so I put, what is it? I put whipping cream. They're, they make vegan whipping cream now, like, for baking and shit. It's fucking dope. I use, like, the vegan country crock, like, plant butter. It's, like, country crock, but it's the vegan version with, like, olive oil or some shit. And then I also use the country crock, like, vegan, like, plant whipping cream. And so I ran out of, like, like regular, like, almond milk creamer for my coffee or whatever. Because usually I use, like, a Califia or, like, whatever. Um, wait, I actually might have some. Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of, I think I actually have. <gasps> oh, my God, hold up. I'm having an epiphany. Oh my god, girl, we do have creamer. <gasps> but this is from, like, Christmas. Oh my god, girl, look, it's cookie butter. Bro, I bought this, like, on Solstice. It's fucking, it's, like, Valentine's Day. I swear to God, I bought this. What's the date? Oh my god, there's something growing in it, probably. Wait, let's see. Oh, there's something growing in it. Bro, I called it. I called it. I called it. I looked at the bottom. There's something green and floating in it. Ah! Ah! In my face. <laughs> Yup, there's something green and floaty in it. All right, well, that's what happens when you leave, like, almond milk creamer in your studio for, like, six months, you know? <laughs> cookie butter. It, well, it looked amazing. Like, cookie butter, girl. Dairy-free cookie butter, like, motherfucking creamer from Calivia with the foot. Like, that's the best shit ever, like, you know? But. Hey. Hey. All right. <laughs> We're gonna put that there, uh, pretend we didn't touch it. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Got the heebie jeebies and the chills. Damn it. Damn it. It's cold now. But I gotta look cute for y'all. Gotta get the views up, you know? Means I gotta freeze my, with my girls out. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what dialect or language I speak. I am a universal being. Okay, I speak light language. I speak numerology. I speak, uh,. A lot of languages, you know, math is just like the language of the universe, you know, that's why it's like so divine. <laughs> anyway, so I'm losing my mind. How are you? What's new, everybody? Guys, you give me like an ounce of caffeine and I'm just like wired, like she's ready. <laughs> oh my god. It's crunch time, it's hustle time, it's game time, guys. Like, DeMille Beauty, we taking off, baby. This is just the motherfucking beginning, okay? I made all that. I made that, 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 I made that. Get cocky. Because what? I made that. And I made that. And I made that. And that, and that. And wherever else you think I'm pointing, I made all of that, okay? I made you, bitch, because I'm the mother of Earth. <laughs> okay. How do I get up? <laughs> <coughs> I 
Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just a little technical difficulties. Got to prove my point, you know. <laughs> oh, I love weed, guys. Okay, look at this. Wait, look at this. Okay, I won't get the Stizzy, we need to collab. Stizzy and I need to collab. They got Sunset Gelato, girl. I got Sunset Gelato, okay? I got the Sunset Gelato body scrub. You need to check out. <laughs> okay, let me not splash my armpit again. This is cute. This is from Stizzy, all right? This is their little, like, this is a hybrid pink acai. Um, I already finished it, girl. But this is a pink acai. Five, it was five mini pre-rolls, like the Jeter's. It was pink acai, though, girl, and it smells so sweet. And look at it, it's all Valentine's Day. Oh my God, girl. I like died when I saw this packaging. I was like, ah! So cute, right? Ooh. And I just got some other little goodies. Let me show you. So we do a haul. Okay, I got some little s'mores. We love the s'mores. All right, cause like, come on, it's new age. Come on. Come on, YouTube algorithm. And I got a little Blue Dream, oh my god, to go with the Blue Dream, girl, Stizzy, we need to collab, Blue Dream on Blue Dream, girl, we need to collab. And then I got some Skywalker OG, which I don't have Skywalker OG in my line right now, but we will be adding. That's why I test the strains, like I always test them in the pods, because I just see if I like the terpene combination, if I like it. Like, Blue Dream, they're calling it blueberry flavor, but that's not right, because Blueberry Kush would be blueberry flavor, this is more like a vanilla. So they don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> they're not a terpene scientist like me. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I like to test them in there. So that way I can like really like see which ones I like with the terpenes. Like Skywalker OG, it was kind of light. It was kind of remind me of like Girl Scout cookies a little bit. But the Skywalker OG, it was like a little chocolatey. It was like kind of red velvety. Like it was kind of like the ice cream cake or cereal milk. It was kind of like that. But yeah, um, I really like Skywalker. Skywalker OG. They're calling it OG. Skywalker OG is really good. It's an indica. And the Blue Dream is a sativa. The Blue Dream is more uplifting. A little more fruity. Light citrusy tones, but more vanilla. A little bit of blueberry. A little bit of like that berry flavor. But overall, I think Blue Dream is a little bit more vanilla. Tasting, scenting, smelling, you know? Terpenes are edible because it is like, you know, lavender oil, clove oil, like essential oils. Some essential oils are just topical use and some essential oils can be ingested. Like a few dabs of peppermint oil in your like coconut oil, toothpaste, baking soda you can use on your teeth. Clove oil is really good for the gums. Clove oil is really good for cavities. The Egyptians really use clove oil a lot to fight gingivitis and stuff. Um, so some essential oils can be consumed but not all of them. So terpenes, cannabis terpenes, which I'm using in my products, they're very similar to, um, very similar to, what's it called? Ah, to, to essential oils, but c'est différent, they're different. It's not the same. Almost, but no. But yes, they can be consumed because cannabis terpenes are like a plant oil, it's plant matter. Um, it's a plant oil, right? Um, extracted from a plant, it's harvested from a plant. It's a concentrate of said plant. Um, so it is in fact edible. <laughs> Yes, terpenes are edible because every time you like vape it through a pod, you know, we're not talking nicotine, we're talking flower power. Um, that's edible, you know, because you're consuming it orally, ingesting it through your your mouth thing and your nose. So, of course, it's safe for consumption, right? I mean, you'd hope. <laughs> we're sold a lot of things that shouldn't be meant for us, like alcohol, cigarettes, you know, you get the gist. But this is something that's actually good for you. So yeah, when you burn the candles with a bunch of terpenes, it's it's really will open up your um sinuses. It's really good for your health. You know, when you burn candles and it's meant with like fragrance and for and stuff, that's technically like low level carcinogens. 
um, car carcinogen is what ca something that will cause cancer. Um, so yeah, Febreze, I don't use Febreze, I don't use any of that bullshit. Um, those are all cancer-causing agents. Um, those all contain carcinogens, high level, low level, whatever, it's still a carcinogen. So I don't use Febreze, they can suck a fat one, um, cause they're slowly killing all of us. <laughs> Um, so Demo Beauty will be coming out with dishwash, laundry detergent, um, cleaning sprays, room sprays. We will have the whole, that's for Demo Home. So that's 2024. Um, coming soon. <laughs> Before that, we will have our everyday line, which is our face creams, day and night, face washes, day and night, all that shit. <laughs> all that shit, yeah. Exactly, you get it. I am doing my everyday eye makeup. So this is just my everyday makeup. Um, I'm using just like, honestly girl, my makeup, I'll be real, like my makeup, like I got this little bag, like that's it. And there ain't shit in here, girl. Like you guys would think I'd have a kit by now, like whole setup, I used to like, back in Detroit where my mom was at, like she got all my naked palettes, like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, all editions of my naked palettes. Um, I ordered her some Jeffree Star, so she got some of that um, for her birthday or whatever. Um, I keep my mama, you know, I order stuff for my mama, make sure there's always flowers on her porch, you know, take care of my mama, um, first and foremost, um, so she got all my makeup, but yeah, I gotta go get it all, I gotta actually need to make a little trip to the ghetto soon, go get all that stuff, but she got like a three-story apartment, and, or like townhouse thing, and girl, I can't even sleep there. There's one other bedroom and my brother took it. And that was my old room when I moved out. I moved out when I was like 17. I don't, I don't even know. Like, it's, it's kind of blacked out. You know, it's a blur. <laughs> but yeah, I went from Detroit to Paris and then back to Detroit. So that was like my landing ground in between living in France. But yeah, um, Detroit, man. <laughs> You got the kitties there. I like the kitties, but I just get real depressed when I'm there. Like, I, I, I'm somebody who I adopt city energy, like, so much. So, I honestly shouldn't be in L.A. It's quite toxic, you know? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I, like, absorb the city that I'm in. Like, Paris, like, I get all romantic, and I just start reading in the park and, like, writing and, like, talking to birds. And I, like, I really level up when I'm in Paris, um, which I love. Like, I write so much. I create so much. I'm so inspired when I'm in Paris. When I'm in New York, I feel I'm very fairy hustle culture. Like when I'm in New York, I'm like, we're making money. What are you doing? Like I'm so go, 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 go when I'm in New York. Detroit, I just get sad. I get so depressed. Like, but I get sad in Paris too. Cause like I get depressed in Paris. Like, but that's like all that past life trauma I was picking up on. I think I've worked through enough of that now. Um, I literally had to almost like look at my past life self and like talk to it just to heal it. And that's what I feel like I did already in Paris. So I feel like I, did a lot of healing in Paris. <laughs> There's a lot of footage that's unreleased, um, and I don't know if it will ever be released, which is very sad. And I try not to think about that, um, because I was working on a short film when I was in Paris, a few of them. And yes, my oh yeah yeah yeah, this is where I jump, I jump, <laughs> just like I quit, I just. <laughs> Let's just say someone, 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 how do, how do you say this? Um, who just won't. Someone stole a hard drive of mine. Someone, someone still has a hard drive of mine that has, like, everything I need on it. Um, so I need to go get that back and put, like, a little spy kit mission. Um, yeah, um. It's like a two, there's actually two hard drives um, this person has, but yeah, it was like, I, I got everything that was important, um, makeup, clothes and everything, but I just like left the most important possession that I own, like with this person, um, which I don't know why, but I've kind of let it go, um, and accept, okay, um, and accepted that, um, but those hard drives have like my entire life on them so i would love them back i would love them back 
um, but you know, I've let it go. I, I choose not to, um, you know, grab on, not to worry about things I can't control, right? So like, even though those two hard drives have my entire like consciousness on them, <laughs> when it feels like, like every photo I've ever taken up until like a few years ago, um, every, nearly every video I've filmed in Europe, on that continent and more, um, I let it go. <laughs> you know when shit's so bad, like you could just laugh, you, all you have to do is rise above because it's the only fucking option. So you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Like, there's new memories to be made, like, whatever. Like, I'm not meant to, like, watch old footage of myself crying in France. Like, oh, shit, what a shame, you know? Like, of course, there's some good stuff on it. I would really love those two hard drives back. I would. But I've let it go, you know? Like, I don't hold my breath on that. I don't, I don't trip on it, you know? Because, yeah, I just don't worry about shit I can't control. I'm like, okay. I messed up and that was, you know, the most important thing I left was my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's when you just like rise above physicality. Is that a word? We just made it one. And you just realize like none of that matters and like you'll transcend all of that anyways, right? All we'll, we'll transcend all this physical shit. None of it matters. Like that's why it can't be materialistic, you know? You know, you just gotta fuck around and find out. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like, oh. This is my cruise ship um, single. Oh. I'm singing. I'm a singer. <laughs> Damn, girl, y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Sending love and prayers. Lots of love. Lots of prayers. Birdies, everything's okay. It's just the humans at it again. Come to mama birdies. Come here birdies. Uh, to the birds are getting scared, bro. Come on. It's scaring the birds. We hear it. We see it. We hear it. Sending love. Sending so much love. That's all I can do. Can't cry over spilled milk, but what about like your entire life? <laughs> what about your, what about, uh, what about uh, this and that? But yeah, a lot of more like Europe videos coming, a lot of more travel vlogs coming. Um, yeah, I just, I just do, I do miss that footage that I shot in Paris because it was like amazing, like amazing, like amazing. It was amazing. It was shot by me, of course. It was amazing. <laughs> like we're just, oh. Going to go like this, okay? <laughs> I'm like here, so I'm going to go like this. Gonna go like pew, perfect. Rise above, motherfucker. <laughs> what do we do? We rise above, motherfucker. What are we doing, motherfuckers? We rising above, motherfuckers, okay? Because everybody's a dog, motherfucker, okay? You know how many times I say motherfucker to my mom on accident? I'll be like, these motherfuckers owe me money. Like, I'm like such a gangster on the phone with my mom. Like, they fucking owe me money. Where's my motherfucking... And I'm like, oh shit. Sorry, mother, but where's my motherfucking money, mother? Like, I'm so bad. I'm so many people in one. No, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a whole starship. It's almost like I'm channeling a whole starship of people. Hmm, interesting. Weird. Huh, quirky. Huh, interesting. Hmm, how do we feel about that? I don't know. Hmm. Like, yeah, I literally feel like there's 17 people talking inside of me at once. And does that sound psychotic? Yes. Is that terrifying? Yes. Are we at 30 minute mark? Yes, almost. Ugh. But yeah, anyway, so I miss Perry a lot. I'm having a lot of friends, France flashbacks. But like, I'm ready to make new memories. And I'm not like gonna even dwell over like old footage or lost footage or anything like that. Like, as beautiful as it was. As fucking cinematic and fucking beautiful as it was. I'm not gonna worry, you know? <laughs> See, he, all is divine, all is well. In the, in the palace, because it's no, you know? We don't worry over here. We don't stress. Stress? Girl, she's not on the to-do list. She wasn't invited. She's not on the fucking guest. Oh, God. Uh, 
<gasps> okay. I'm <laughs> like, who do I be? Who do I be today? Bitchy Becky? <laughs> or white girl wasted? <laughs> or privileged Penny? Hi, my name is Privileged Penny. Nice to meet you. I am white and privileged and highly self aware. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to switch back into my French accent because I'm over this American shit. I'm over this American shit. Over this fucking Hollywood machine. How you say, huh? How you say, huh? What is your word for that? I, I forget. You know, remind me, please. Alright, I'm going to end this video. I'm still putting makeup on my face. I need to do eyeliner, and I need to do mascara. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this 30-minute video. This is going to be a long-ass upload time, so I'm going to cut it right here. Um, I'm not even done getting ready, but, like, I'm going to finish my eyeliner off cam. Or I'll just do a part two to this. I could do a part two, get ready with me. Let's do that. It sounds fun. I'm girly. Okay, perfect. All right, love you, buddies. Bye. Go shop to mobidi.com. Everything is linked down below. You can go grab the one and only strain beauty line infused with real cannabis terpenes. So go grab an animal mint body oil made with real animal mints, some blueberry kush body oil made with real blueberry kush. All right, I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.